Uh, so the Comedy Zone is a, an initiative run by the Melbourne Comedy Festival, almost two decades old now, where they handpick, and a lot of work goes into it, uh, four to five upcoming comedians that are kind of coming through who have a unique voice. Comedy festival are very aware that uh, humor is very subjective and that everybody laughs at different things. So with that in mind, they, they pick five currently different, very different voices in comedy and uh, five acts which show a lot of promise. And I think they've done a great job in particular this year. Um, and it's, I don't know why, but it's just getting better every year. Like the acts that are coming through, the new acts, all the time start at a higher level. and so. Um, I'm, I'm fearing for my job a little bit and uh, I'm very impressed and it, it's, it's got a great energy. Um, so that's been happening, like I said, for almost two decades now and uh, you see inevitably people come through Comedy Zone and the festivals recognize their promise and their dedication and kind of their ambition and a lot of people have gone on to do, to do pretty big things and to become the names that we know today. So, so I'm a bit uh, laissez-faire in that I believe um, everyone knows in their own heart what is best for them. Um, so basically the idea with me on board is to kind of, um, you know, the, the main bit of advice is to let them know that only they can choose their 10 minutes. They need to do what's best for them and the best 10 minutes that they've done in their career so far. And that's, that's only something they can know and they can put forward. But at the same time, they've all been doing comedy for a long time, so they know what gets reactions and what doesn't. So obviously, the, I think the golden rule of comedy that I passed on is you kind of start with your second best joke or bit and you finish with your best. So you hit them straight away with something really high quality that's one of the best things you can do to make them go, uh, oh, this person's good, I'm gonna be at ease and I'm gonna be comfortable to laugh then whatever they put into the middle is, is their journey and then at the end they hit them with the, the funniest thing they've got so they leave them on a huge high and uh, wanting more a little bit so that's really important. Um, so that I guess that's the main umbrella under which I've kind of been operating at the moment and just listening to them and finding out um, ways that they can kind of improve and take minimal risks so that they, they can grow within the experience. Tom's a great MC for getting them ready and getting them uh, kind of appropriate for the first act. It's important not to have someone with a low key energy come on and do the first spot. So we definitely thought hard about that and we decided that uh, although there's nobody better than another, they're all very equal and there's no headliner, um, we still had to come up with an order. So we decided that um, Tim would be a great opener with his high energy, um, slide into Nat because um, he's very different to the first two and then uh, get rolling up after they've been laughing for a while to throw some absurdity and some surrealism at them and then get Danielle to bring it home because she's got such a, um, a kind of a unique and louder, larger than life kind of persona combined with her finale, which is the visual stuff, you know, the, the, um, uh, the visual kind of drawings that she's done. So that's a great way to finish the show. So that was basically the, the conversation we had. Having said that, at the moment, um, we, we made it clear that they weren't locked into to that exact um, order, run order, except for the MC. So if, for example, later on down the track, we feel like we need to skip, skip uh, the order around a bit, we can, we can look at that, yeah. The Comedy Festival recognized not only their ability now, but their uh, potential for later on. So they can spot that in people, because they've seen people come through for you know, 31 years now, uh, the comedy festival is. So they've seen people come through and they're good at recognizing people who 
are sure they're great now, but down the track they're going to be something else. So they have a unique enough voice to make it and enough passion and direction to, to make it. And so the Comedy Zone is all about giving them an experience of doing a show in a festival managed venue with other like-minded people that they can not only support but learn from and uh, and take it to that next level a bit quicker. The, the Comedy Festival have really put together like they're all equally funny and equally amazing but very different so it just shows you the variety that can be expressed in this art like at the end of the day it's a person holding a microphone and you like with a voice and they're like how different can it be how much variation can it be turns out so much variety can just explode out of that microphone it's, it's quite amazing mm -hmm.